Well, folks, we have Phoenix Rising that just opened up. Yay! That makes it 10 coasters here at Bush Gardens. Really? Yeah, 10 coasters. Wow. So, what's next? Who are knows? we Are we gonna get a Giga? Maybe. Are we gonna, you know, let's check out, actually, let's, let's check out the lineup today of the roller coasters that they have. Okay. And, uh, you know, see what's missing and see what Bush Gardens could use. Yeah. Right behind us is our first one. It's Iron Gwazi. Iron Gwazi is an RMC. It's a hybrid coaster. Actually, it's a hybrid hyper coaster, which means that it is made of steel and wood, and it goes over 200 feet. It has three inversions, and it is very, very exciting to ride. Yeah. <laughs> and now you see why we love it. Yep, that was in. Another roller coaster in the Bush Gardens lineup is Cheetah Hunt. Now, Cheetah Hunt has three launches made by Intamin, and it does have, I believe, at least one inversion. It's a fun ride to ride, and it makes you feel like you're on a hunt, like you're the cheetah on a hunt for your prey. It is probably the longest ride here. Now this is Cheetah Hunt, made by Intamin. So it does have its intimate moment every once in a while. <laughs> like I said, three launches. First launch brings you up to about 40. Second launch brings you up to about 70. And then it's all haywire from there. Like I said, 
Okay. <laughs> now here is Montu. Montu is a inverted B&M roller coaster that packs a punch. Behind me is Cobra's Curse, which is not in operation at the moment. Now, Cobra's Curse is made by Mock Mock Rides. It is a family coaster. It's a family spinning coaster. The first third of it, you go forwards. The second third, you go backwards. And then the last third, you basically spin uncontrollably sometimes if you get the right car so yeah it's a, a family coaster um, another one in the lineup at Bush Gardens unfortunately it is down so we won't be able to get a ride on it this here is Air Grover now Air Grover is a nice little 
roller coaster designed for, of course, little children. Like I said, a nice little kitty coaster. No inversions. Maybe a, a 20, 30 foot hill. And nice speed. Tigris. Tigris is a premier ride and as you can see it just goes around in two loops. Now here we have Shikra. Shikra is made by B&M and it's a drop tower, uh, not a drop tower but a, a drop ride. And you go up and then you come down this big huge drop. A very fun ride. that's nice about Chikra is right here yeah, and a hot day you can get cooled off footage of Shikra, but this is the actual on-ride footage of Shikra. Did I forget to mention it's a floorless poster? Yep, there's no floor.
I think they tightened up the brakes. Yeah. Ow. Now we have Kumba here. And it did say Kumba was closed today. on it nope. so I don't think they're actually open today they might be just testing it because it was recently struck by lightning and from what I heard the lift hill motor got hit so let's give you some uh, information about Kumba well, they are running two trains, it looks like. Um, uh, Kumba is a B&M. Uh, that is Kumba right there. Uh, B&M, Looper. It's a nice sit-down coaster. It is the oldest one here. It is a little bit rough. But as we can see, there's a train stopped on the lift hill but yeah so the kumba that will be our eighth roller coaster here we still have two more to go and here we have scorpion this has got to be i believe the oldest ride here now Kid friendly. And it only has one loop. And that is Scorpion. It is made by Schwarzkopf. And lastly, we have the newest roller coaster here in the park, Phoenix Rising. This is a B&M family invert, which means there is no upside down. It doesn't go fast. And if you look right there, it only goes up 80 feet. That will round up our 10 coasters here at Bush Gardens. We have a wide range of coasters, four of them being from B&M. Now, one of the places for a new roller coaster would be right here in the unused section of the tidal wave going back behind the orangutan enclosure and habitat going way back there in the back of Jungala to where the uh, retention ponds are and then coming back and having a station right back there somewhere now that I think would be a great place if they decided to put a giga coaster that would be a great place to put the giga and then you would see the lift hill going back up there. Back behind Jangala. Yeah. And then 300 foot. Let's just say 325 feet. Let's go with 325 feet jump, drop, and all the air time. So uh, a little bit of an after note. We had such a great day, we forgot to put out a closeout or a an ending um there are some interesting things happening at bush gardens and we did go through a whole bunch of the roller coasters uh one thing that bush gardens does not have is a giga coaster and everybody has been hoping for one and and everything else 
the other thing is a wing coaster. Another one is a, a top hat coaster like uh, King Ka or Top Thrill 2. Um, something that goes launching and way up there with a nice top hat. Um, trying to think what else we're missing. Um, we're probably missing a couple of different rides. But uh, a wing coaster would be nice. And a giga coaster would be nice. Um, what are they doing? Who knows? I do know that there is something happening in Jangala. Um, what they're doing with that area, who knows? The other area that they're doing something with is uh, next to the bumper cars. If you notice, the remote control trucks and the remote control boats are now missing. Now, this has been the rumor for quite some time probably for the year for the past year that the bush flyers that they took away from Pantopia is going to be moved to Jungala next to the uh, bumper cars so uh, that is just something that's been floating around and signs of it are there that it's a good possibility that that might be what's going to be happening um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, the work walls up in Jungala are still up, and I heard rumors of them remodeling that area, uh, sprucing it up some, uh, which actually Jungala could be, something can happen to Jungala, because it's kind of like nothing there. You got Chick-fil-A there. You got the orangutans there he had wild surge there um but there needs to be something there to attract people to that back area um besides the tigers and the orangutans and chick-fil-a so um with that i think yeah um so tell me what you think go down in the comments and uh, comment what you think uh, Bush Gardens could use. What do you think might be coming up for the next year or two? What are the future plans? On that note, we'll catch you in the parks.